We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we have another head-to-head -head battle with these. Okay, from left to right, so this is round seven. So if you look through all of the rounds, I've done probably with the, with the completion of this video around 50 different spicy nut products. And uh, definitely encourage you, they're all in a playlist called the head-to-head -head playlist. Definitely encourage you guys to check all that out if you are interested in seeing specifically just the battles with the uh, hot nuts. So today we have from Big Reds Hickory Smoked Ghost Pepper Cheddar Almonds. From the Pain is Good camp we have just hot nuts, spicy Virginia peanuts. Now I think those are probably habaneros. We have Hot Winged Reaper from Hot Monkey Nuts and we have our two reigning champions, so the Carolina Reaper Peanuts, the wild version of them, which is the one on your far right, is by far the heat leader. It's not even a comparison. The wood-fired Scorpion Chili Pistachios from Terrapin Station Smoking Company is the best flavor as far as I'm concerned right now. So we have a flavor champion, which is this. We have a heat champion, which is this as of right now, but we've got three more contenders. And as long as this continues to be my heat leader, I am not ever going to have more than three contenders because it gets really, really, really hot at the uh, higher levels of this. So the, as the rounds go on, this has gotten increasingly spicier. I'm in round seven now. I've got eight and nine. I have enough stuff for those right now. So. I'm doing at least two more of these. I will maybe try to do a 10, but I'm really going to have to go kind of on fishing expeditions to get to 10, just because there just aren't that many of the spicy nuts that I have not gotten to as of yet. Okay, so let's take a look here at the first one, which will be Big Reds, snacks and hot sauces. I have had two, uh, two of the sauces from Big Reds. Uh, one of them I thought was okay. One of them I am enjoying quite a lot. And the uh, ones of mustard, that one will be in a uh, everything else video on this uh, video series at some point. And the one for the smoked habanero, I believe maybe up by the time you see this, that would just be in the regular hot sauce playlist. So, uh, so we've got the smoked uh, almonds. So this, th this one uh, I think has a really good shot at being at least one of these two because I smoke nuts are just and almonds smoke up so great so I just I really like that kind of thing and cheddar I think is I have not had a lot of cheese hot the hot nuts actually it's mostly just the actual coating so I'm really interested to see where this goes uh, almonds is not my favorite nut but um, I think there's there's a lot going for the sauce so we'll see all right so we have almonds extra virgin olive oil cheddar cheese Sorry, cheddar cheese powder, Himalayan sea salt, herbs, and spices. And let's just bust this open. So the two on the right, the two that are the uh, current winners, I have I've tried those. I have not tried the other ones. And there is, I don't know if you can see this. Um, they don't look a lot different to me. Let's smell, smell. Definitely smells like smoked nuts. Take a couple of these out and take a look at them here. A little bit of coating on these. Coating is very mild. A little bit of heat there. Hmm. So these, um, so these are good. 
flavor wise they're a little too close though to raw almonds I'm getting a really moderate tongue burn I would say um, I'm going to say these are, um, you know, they're probably a legit one. Uh, yeah, I think we can go that far. Okay, next we have the Pain is Good, Virginia, from Spice and Foods. We have, let's take a look here at the old ingredient panel, and we have the Sea Habaneros jumps out, and, okay, so these have Habaneros as the heat driver. Uh, just to paint, paint is good, hot nuts, I guess. I don't know what else we'd call these. So let's take that out of here. Whoa! Yeah, these are coated to the nines. I'm interested to see what sauce these uh, these are using now. I wonder if it's the Louisiana. It kind of looks like that. These smell like salted, salted nuts. They don't really smell like anything. But I don't see batch 218 or anything like that on here, so let's see if there's any information here. So we have a heat lover snacking dream. Bubba's hot nuts will send you through the roof. Pull these out at your next party, but warn your guests these nuts are hot. So paint is good. Is that what they're calling these? Is Bubba's hot nuts? I, I don't. I really don't know. Let's try a few. Flavor on these is quite good. Hmm. Really good. Wow. Hmm. Heat is really moderate though. So I don't, I don't, yeah, I mean, there's no, it doesn't seem like there's any extract in here. I would call these a one. I feel like they're slightly hotter than these, but not by a lot. All right, they are very, very coated though, so I'm going to throw a little palate cleanser in here. They have a nice, they have a nice bill. You know what, those are, those are actually good for a party nest because they're, they're not crazy stupid hot. But they definitely, most people will not have ever had anything like these unless they intentionally saw it out. This uh, tag is calling it batch 218, but I don't see anything here that would um, support that. Okay, so, uh, no. Stay, 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 stay. Whatever, do whatever. I don't care. All right. Hot winged reapers. So these are wing seasoning, blue cheese, and Carolina reaper. Um, the rating these is very hot. So far, none of the hot monkey nuts I've had has been really in contention, but there's this one and there's also, as you can see, the Black Widow's Bite. You can see it right there. That probably will be in the next episode, maybe the one after that. And there's a story of, uh, of this, which I believe is probably online. Let's see if I can fit it in the screen though. Okay, let's do this. Paragraph one, pause if you want to read it. Pause at paragraph two. And there you go. This dude is saying that everyone loves to eat his nuts, which is fine. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's just take a look at the panel here and see what we got in here. So we've got Cayenne. All right, I'm trying to find Reaper. There's a lot of things in this. This is quite a bit of things. Two cayenne pepper sauces. Uh, where is the Reaper? Hello, Reaper. Oh, it, it says it almost at the end. Carolina Reaper powder, the very last ingredient. Okay, well, let's take a look at these. Uh, open. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty much like what you'd expect with a, a sort of a hot wing peanut. And they, they smell basically just like just salted peanuts. So, right, let's try a few of these. 
Oh, very well coated. There's almost no flavor to these. I'm getting roasted peanut. Oh, wait, wait. There's a little bit of uh, blue cheese. It almost reads like a cream, though. Like if it was a ranch. These are good. Well, these are actually hotter. Okay. So, I guess what we need to do now, I don't need to try these two. They're my current champs. So, the hot monkey nuts are so weird. I'm not eating hardly any heat at all out of this. Well, so none of these are as hot as these. They're as hot as these. Uh, flavor wise, I, I really actually like these. In fact, all these are pretty good flavor wise, but and maybe, maybe after we do the uh, shot glass challenge, then that will change, but so far these are still my leader. What's so weird is that the cayenne pepper sauce is so high on the list and I'm getting almost none of that out of these out of these uh, hot wing reapers. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do these up and then we'll... Okay, almonds. So these, man. So look at how much spice there are in this. It's so weird. There's this much spice and so little flavor. I'm kind. I'm honestly kind of baffled by that. So there's the hot wing reapers, and I would put those right around where I put the other ones. Probably a one. This one is a one pushing a two. Oh, a desiccant. Awesome. Let's not have that in there. Okay. Alright, these are pretty crazy well coated. These are two ounce shot glasses, by the way, if uh, any, anyone is interested in that. So, peanuts go out nuts, and there's the shot glass. Alright, let's do the. Uh, a rating champ, which is the blazing, the blazing foods Carolina Reaper nuts, wild. These. Well, I'm just gonna eat lots of desiccant today, I guess. These these wild little nuggets are deadly. All right. Well, we're now at the part where we do a nice little burn. Just bang through all these shot glasses. One after another, and this is the order that I have them in for heat. The cheddar cheese, ghost pepper, almonds from Big Reds at lowest heat, hot winged reapers from monkey nuts, and the second hottest, then this is the hottest of the new ones, this hot nuts from Pain is Good. We also have the current rainy and flavor champion, which is the Terrapin Station Smoking Company, Scorpion Chili, Smoked Pistachios, and our current reigning heat champion is Blazing Foods, Carolina Reaper Peanuts Wild. And so this will stay, this, this will be the vector after today as well. I'm including it in the burn as the last thing, just because it's tradition and uh, we need to do that. If you can preserve traditions this year in the age of COVID, then, and you can do it safely, mind you, <laughs> then.
that's the big key. If you could do it safely, without exposing yourself and others, then it, I think it's important to try to preserve those. But if you can't, then we keep it in our memories until the next time when we can. But let's get this burn underway. Here we go. The ghost pepper cheddar almonds. So, I'm not calling these an actual one, I think, after this. These, I'm going to push back down to a default one. Um, they're, they're just, I think these needed to, to be smoked a lot longer. I think it's kind of my central issue with these. Okay, so here we go. Hot Winged Reaper Peanuts from Hot Monkey Nuts. This is an interesting idea for a flavor. I don't think it works. I, th I think the base is wrong with peanuts, but it's it's an interesting idea. These I think I'm just gonna call a legit one, but just barely. I've just got a minor, really minor tingle after after both of those two. So here we are now with the paint is good, hot nuts, and this these are the ones I think I like the best so far of the three challengers. It's a very unique flavor, and honestly, a little bit one note. So we're not going to have any changeover. This is going to be our flavor champion. This is going to be our heat champion at the end. But let's just finish off this burn. 
Smoked pistachios. Wood fire pistachios from Terrapin Smoking Station. Right now, I'm one pushing a two, but we're still at a fairly low level of heat. Oh. Dude, that's what you want. <laughs> that's just so good. Pretty immediate punch up and heat. These are um, individual small batches. This is one of the hottest batches I've had of these. We're over at three. Hang right out at four. And now the hottest yet to come. These crazy things. These are good too. I like I like the flavor of these. Make no mistake, they're not candy. We're past four, getting into five now. That's hot. Good burn. Definitely, get, definitely getting lit up pretty well here. Uh, but this one's still far and away the hottest. Flavor is still best here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, these two alone are just really uh, punchy one two punch. <laughs> Put it that way. So the Battle of Hot Nuts Part 7 is concluded. Ha! Ah. And uh, no change. Best flavor? By far the hottest. And uh, I'm burning. I'm burning. So I wouldn't, I don't think, get any of these again. And, uh, but these battles just keep getting hotter. We'll be back with round eight in 2021, somewhere in there, and then round nine after that. And depending on what else is available, maybe even around 10. But for now, that's going to wrap it up for this burn and for the round 7 Battle of the Hot Nuts. There will be a list, of courses of the contenders in the description below, as always. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame. <laughs>